to another episode of DSF Watches Lost 2, brought to you by Carolina Brewing Company Springbok. Thanks, CBC. So delicious. As usual, our correspondent Rory will join us from the field. He's on a fajita field trip. Uh, you know, best place to go get fajitas, uh, the Flash Sideways, Spanish Johnny's. What more can I say? Rory, tell us, what exactly is a fajita field trip? What isn't a fajita field trip? You got margaritas, possibly a demolition derby afterwards because you're feeling a little buzzed from the uh, fajitas and margaritas. Sounds like a real party. Or sounds like a real fiesta. <laughs> Very good. When Hurley and Libby kissed on the beach and, the, and he kind of yeah. realized she wasn't crazy. And he got the memories. And Yeah, and we're starting to see the last couple episodes more and more connections between the two timelines, universes, what have yeah. you. Uh, Hurley just says, Richard's right. And then he goes up to Jack and says, just trust me. And Jack's like, okay. That was my favorite Jack moment ever. Now that's only two opinions. Why don't we get a third? Our correspondent, Rory O'Brien, is in Los Angeles at Spanish Johnny's Mexican Restaurant. Rory, what do you think? Well, I was gonna say when Ilana blew up, but then my waiter just came by and ups upsized me to a king-size margarita with uh, Cuervo tequila instead of well, so I gotta go with that. You know, Block Johnster having his kind of uh, strange heart-to-heart -heart with Desmond over the very old well, and then all of a sudden shoving him down it. I don't necessarily think Desmond is dead, but if the well is that deep, he's not going to be climbing out of it. My surprise was Alana blown up. <laughs> and your favorite moment. Wow. Second favorite moment. Second, <laughs> fair, fair second enough. favorite moment. So, Rory, have you had any surprises at Spanish Johnny's? That Johnny isn't actually Spanish. He's Italian and he's from Brooklyn. You kind of already said it. My disappointment was that Desmond got tossed down the well. Yeah. Um, I don't think that will completely restrict his usefulness in the next couple episodes. But yeah. as usual, was that they like to sneak in a moment where you think that Smokey is going to tell you what his name is, <laughs> and then they just yank it right away from uh, you. Just, just when I think I'm out, they, they pull me right back in. They have been teasing they, us. So, Rory, have you been particularly disappointed or heartbroken by anything yourself? Hopefully not the fish tacos. Fish tacos, exactly. They put coleslaw on them here. What the fuck? I kind of like fish tacos. Do you like fish tacos? I love fish tacos. They're pretty good. If you have, if you have good ones, I mean, you can say that of anything. If you have good ones, then they're going to be good. But if you have good fish tacos, they're pretty good. By the way, thanks, Rory. Everybody likes cheese, and that was one of my, I think, favorite lines of the episode. I don't know anyone that doesn't like cheese. Hurley, uh, after being asked, so you just do what, what these dead people tell you to? <laughs> responds, dead people are more reliable than alive people. Uh, Rory, you hear anything interesting? I like Desmond, he had two of them. That's me, brother, in response to Order 42. Then when he just said experience about knowing what an electromagnetic event felt like. No. Nope. So Rory, tell us, did this visit to Spanish Johnny's affect the likelihood that you'll return for another fajita field trip? Of course, they gave me a king-size margarita for free with Cuervo tequila. Boom. Let's see them cards. Since we know what your card says, we do. I'm gonna go ahead and show mine. And I wanted to see, we kind of already knew that we were gonna have an interaction between these two characters, but I wanted to see them get it on. I wanted to see, I thought. They kind of did get it on, just I Desmond know. didn't know until it was too, he didn't know they were getting it on until did. it was too we late. We did see it. As you may have suspected, loyal viewers, I again wrote down Smokey's name on my card. I really, I was tempted to write down something else, but I know that 
the first time I predict something else will be the episode that we find out Smokey's <laughs> name. We did once again come close. What do you mean? We didn't find it out? I thought it was John Locke. Exactly. Oh, we can't, we came close, John but as you can tell, I had to do it. I can't give up after this many weeks. Sticking to your I guns, I see. That's 2 mg as usual, long after Ginch has given up on his guns. Does Rory have a card? Like always, guys. We still have paper in the flash sideways. Why Desmond went willingly with uh, Saeed to, you know, John Locke. Didn't really find that out, but I did find interesting when Desmond called Smon Lockster John Locke, and Smon Lockster did not exactly like that. That was a very interesting moment. Thanks for that, Rory, and thanks to you, our loyal viewers, for joining us on another episode of DSF Watches Thank Lost 2. Thank you. Keep it real. We'll see you next week. Do you know what next week's episode's called? I have no idea. Me neither. But wow. they did drop the song from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Oh, yeah. The in the trailer week for next week's episode. Looks crazy. I don't even remember what happened okay. in the preview. I was no. too busy listening to what's G. Wilder singing the, the Willy Wonka so song. So I remember.